Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel. Well, now in this video, I am going to show you how to connect this boat Nirvana Ion earbuds to a boat app. If you are using this boat new launch boat Nirvana Ion means so this earbud is actually supported with the boat dedicated application. Generally, if you see in the boat earbuds are under thousand five hundred or around two thousand, you will not get any app support like Realme or Oppo. But this time on this boat Nirvana Ion boat is actually come. with the app support so you have to first of all connect this boat nirvana ion in your bluetooth so just to connect your earbud and also this boat nirvana ion is actually supported with the google fast pair technology so firstly you have to connect this boat nirvana ion in the bluetooth and after that just to go to the play store and the one more important thing is that this boat app is only supported for the android smartphones if you are using the iphone means for ios there is no app support for this boat nirvana ion so if you are android user just to go to the play store and search for the boat hearables and you will get the app so now this is the new app for the boat nirvana ion boat hearables just to install it and open it now so now once you open now this is how the uh, app is actually looks like so once you open the app the nirvana ion is uh, automatically get connected and, and a new firmware update is already available just to click on the update so now your new firmware is actually updating so here is the ota version version 9.16.39 So Boat Nirvana Ion now supports the app features include smart diagnostics software update and button remapping So just to click on the update now and click on the proceed option Now the firmware is get updating So and one more thing is that your earbud should have enough battery during the firmware update and the earbud should be outside the case and the earbud should be in the connected condition only so these are all the things you need to ensure before proceeding the firmware update process Well guys now the boat nirvana ion firmware update has been completed so after enter the boot hearable app so you can able to see the nirvana ion so it will be automatically get connected once you connected via bluetooth now just to click on this so once you entered so here you can able to see the app user interface here and here is the image of the boat nirvana ion earbuds here you can able to see the left and right earbuds how much charge available but in the app you can't able to see how much percentage of battery available in the case but you can able to find that with the help of the google fastpair so i will tell you that later on and after that in the configuration section you can able to see the button settings once you click on this so here you can able to see the all the different functions type so like in this earbud you can able to do the in left side single tap double tap triple tap and then long touch and hold and likewise for the right earbuds also same so for each tap if you can able to customize for example on default you can able to do a play or pause for the single tap you can able to change that for single tap you can uh, set for uh, any other thing like a uh, next song or previous song and one more thing is that there is a no none option here so that is a one of the drawback in this so you can't able to disable any function so i am actually selecting on every function so there is a no none option but in the future update board definitely need to bring the none option for the every function so that the user can able to customize which function they need whether they need single tap or not if you disable the single tap means you, you can just start up from the double tap itself this will actually eliminates the miss touch operation so this is the thing and after that if you made any changes means you can click the save option here and in the app apart from that the battery status and the button settings there is nothing else so here is a software once you click if any software update means you can able to update to the latest firmware and in the help section you can see the user manual troubleshoot and product overview so this is the overall thing contains in, in this boat hearables app and there is a smart diagnostic option so if you click this so you have to wear the earbud and once you click this so you will see a option like this so you have the battery percentage need 50% and your device should be within 5 meters and you have to wear the earbuds and the air drops must be connected and after that once you click on the let's go so it will actually test your uh, earbuds bluetooth connectivity first and after that it test your microphone quality 
and after some Hello, time it boot. actually tells you to say something Hello, once you boot. tell that then the microphone test has been paused and, and after that sound quality test in place so you can able to hear the audio in the left channel and the right earbud separately so if you if you able to hear that means then that uh, sound channel is also works and the fourth test is the battery health test so in both the earbuds it actually tests whether is there any battery related issue like that so this is a smart diagnostic for this boat immortal ion and in the app there is a one more control we need actually so in this boat nirvana ion there is a wear detection so the brand should definitely need to update the app if we have a option like uh, so we can able to enable or disable the wear detection means that will be more useful for the users so because we can able to turn on or turn off the uh, wear detection with the help of the app but this option is still not available in this boat hearables application these are all the some of the updates boat need to update in the upcoming updates for this nirvana ion earbuds in this boat airables app and the next thing is that i am going to tell you how to use the google fosfor in your android smartphone so this is only for the android users so if you are using a android phone means you can use the google fosfor uh, option so that with the help of the google fosfor you can able to find the charging case battery and along with that you can use the find earbuds feature and you can able to make the earbuds left earbud or right earbud to ring so like that features you can able to use with the help of the google fosfor so for this we have to go to the settings option once you connected so once you connected you can able to see like so your email id so i am given the tech and tech email id so that tech and tech nirvana ion actually connected so in this format you can able to see the nirvana ion bluetooth device list name so what your email id so your email id name will be in the front of the nirvana ion earbuds if you not able to see like uh, your gmail id along with the nirvana ion means so you have to unpair the earbud first just uh, click on the unpair option and after that again go down and uh, again you will see the nirvana ion just to click on the pair so now the nirvana ion will be actually paired So as you seen here, you can able to see a window like this. So Nirvana Ion save device to your mail ID. So gmail.com for faster pairing to your other devices. So you can able to see a window like this. So once you click, once you see a window like this, you have to click on the save. And sometimes you will see option connect also. You have to click the connect or click the save option here. Once you've done that, now your Nirvana Ion has been connected with the Google Fosfor. So after that, the thing is that in your Android smartphone, just to go to the settings option and here just to go down and go to the option google and in the google section just to select the option device and sharing and after that click on the devices and here you can able to see the option saved devices just to click on this and here you can able to see the option automatically save devices you have to enable this option and also at the top you can able to see your email id if you are using more than one email id in your smartphone means so what email id you are actually saved this year but that email id you should select here and after that just ensure whether automatically save devices this option is enabled or not if it is disabled means just to enable it and again unpair and again repair this year but and that time you can definitely able to see See that google fosfor window now as you've seen here in the saved to this email id tech and tech nirvana ion is already listed just to click on this so in your smartphone also you can able to see like that and after that in this page in the device details page you can able to see the nirvana ion earbuds charging case battery earbuds battery and in this both earbuds one speciality is that so even if you are both earbuds outside the charging case you can able to see the case battery so you can't able to see like this feature in the realme and oppo also in realme and oppo you need to place any one of the earbud in the charging case then only the case battery will actually show but in this boat nirvana ion you can able to see case and as well as left and right earbuds battery even the both earbuds is outside the charging case also this is one of the really good thing and then here is the option find device feature once you click on this you can able to uh, ring the left earbud and right earbud so i am actually clicking on the ring left so as you seen here so now the left ear but is actually ringing 
so the sound is also so good so like using this find earbud switcher if you actually missed this earbud somewhere else in your table means you can easily able to find with the help of the find earbud switcher and also you can see the last known location of your ear board nirvana ion by just clicking on this last known location this will actually go to the find my device uh, that application if you not install that app means you need to install the find my app and after that now the device has been located you can able to see where this uh, board nirvana ion last time connected in your smartphone you can able to find that location so this also really helpful because if you accidentally miss this earbud somewhere else means you can able to find where your earbuds lastly connected so you can able to find that location you can go to that location and find whether your earbuds is actually there or not if for example if you missed in your office means you can able to so find the location like so your office location will be shown in the find my device application so these are all the some of the new features added in the boat nirvana ion earbuds so along with the boat app now the google fastpair is also supported on this boat nirvana ion earbuds so this is one of the best earbuds to consider to buy around 2000 price segment and it's really good one from the boat brand so in terms of audio and all other things so well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys mm -hmm.